Yes, I am expecting the Florida Panthers to continue their physical play. The only reason is because they're going home for game three, right? So the series is not lost for the Florida Panthers. They lost two games in Vegas. They are going back into their own building in front of their own fan, and they have to create the energy that has made them su successful in the first three rounds on their way to the Stanley Cup final. Now, they do have to pick and choose their moment to be physical and they better be getting a negative response from the Vegas Golden Knights to be able to be successful because right now all that Florida's throwing at the Vegas Golden Knights is not affecting the Knights. The Knights are not getting involved into the, you know, after the whistle pushing matches. They are to a certain extent, but then they walk away. They are obviously creating and scoring on the power play when Florida is being undisciplined. Uh, but most importantly, they are not chasing the game. So when Florida is out hitting the Vegas Golden Knights, Vegas doesn't feel like they have to respond by out hitting Florida. So they're not chasing the Panthers all around the ice. But I do feel that for the Florida Panthers, it is part of their identity. That is how they were able to beat Boston, Toronto, and Carolina. So they have to continue with the physical play, with the energy, and they have to walk that line. Well, you've got to be careful, though, to stay on the right side of the line because if you fall to the wrong side of the line, you're going to be you're going to be golfing very, very soon uh, this summer. So obviously, it is part of Florida's identity. They have to continue the physical play. They're going back home for Game Three, so that's going to be amped up. But they have to do it the right way, and they have to hope that Vegas falls into the trap and starts, uh, you know, retaliating a little bit so that Florida can have some power play of their own to be able to win game three.